And more breaking news is coming in. UK Housing Minister Stuart Andrew uh, in fact resigns. Uh, meanwhile, UK PM Johnson refuses to resign, saying if I felt impossible for government to go on, then I would. End of quote. Remember, in a major blow to the Boris uh, Johnson-led government, more than a dozen MPs, including two senior cabinet members, have resigned in 24 hours. Finance Minister Rishi Shonak and Health Secretary Sajid Javid resigned just after the Prime Minister apologised for not firing a Tory MP on Tuesday, despite knowing about the sexual misconduct allegations against him. Following that, Minister for Children and Families Will Quint, British lawmaker Laura Trott and Member of Parliament Joe Churchill also resigned. The Prime Minister, who has recently survived a trust vote by narrow margin, admitted that he had been told about the complaint in 2019 but made a bad mistake by not acting on it. Those are the details here. The controversial Tory MP Chris Pincher was suspended only last week. This is the latest scandal for Boris Johnson at this point. Shrinjoy is joining us for more details. Shrinjoy, like we were talking about earlier, controversy after controversy for Boris Johnson. But the question now is he has refused to resign. But we've seen a spate of resignations, five people who have resigned until now. What happens next? Well, it's been a scandal a day for Boris Johnson. Uh, you look at uh, what has happened over these past few weeks. Uh, you had uh, you had drinking sessions. Pandemic was in full force. You had drinking sessions and parties uh, were just after Christmas. So then there's a problem. Uh, there's about his wife's uh, tax issues. Uh, that uh, there are uh, there is a strong belief that it was actually leaked by people close to the prime minister himself. Fourth, you have this case of a sexual impropriety, and this one really is what was because Boris Johnson himself has admitted that he knew about it for a long time. The question is. How long can Boris Johnson survive? Because there seems to be a steady drip, drip of MPs who are, are leaving the Conservative Party or leaving the government. Now, if this continues, uh, it could reach a stage when there are the Conservatives will be in a minority. That is still a long way off. But the important point to note is that in these by-elections that are happening in the north, in the south, uh, the conservatives are losing very badly. Uh, in the north, where the conservatives had got a lot of labor seats, now it looks like the labor party is getting them back. And in the south, when the conservatives have had a stronghold for decades, perhaps even centuries, what has happened is that the liberals are beginning to win. Basically, which means that the people who were diehard conservatives have said, well, we can't vote for these people anymore. Let's just choose the liberals. That's the make the best of a bad deal. If that is so, the election is about a year away. Things look very bleak for Boris Johnson and the Conservative Party, which is why there is so much tension and unhappiness. Because if uh, the, the things are as bad as they are now. What's going to happen just before the elections? And this will be a total rout for the Conservatives. They would have never lost as badly as they might if things continue like this, which is why people are sort of leaving the party, leaving the government. They believe that the only way uh, absolutely. Shrinjoy, uh, I think we have a problem with that line, but uh, thank you so much for joining us uh, with your perspective.